hello friends welcome again and this is my new project medical store billing system and uh, this project i have developed in php and the mysql and the version i am using for the php is the php version 7 and the mysql version is 5.6 so if you have latest jam server or vamp server for windows you can configure this project on the jam and vamp i am running this project on the jam server and the latest jam server which has the php 7 version but if you are using the ubuntu then you can configure this project on the lamp means linux apache and mysql php for mac users you can run this project on the map server right so for all operating system this project will work there is no restriction of the operating system you can configure that project according to your system which you have means if you have mac lamp uh, linux or the windows it works in all of the operating system so for front-end part uh, i'm using the html css and javascript also some of the jquery library for giving some good effects just like a integration of the slider form validations and the date i'm using the jquery right and this is a very normal and basic thing and this is a mini project which has only and only admin functionality and very basic functionality which admin can perform right so let's start with the functionality so as i told you earlier that the uh, project title is medical store billing system and this is the home page of the project and there is nothing dynamic on this project this is totally static so if you want to uh, change any of the content then you can change it this is the about so this is totally static and it's also not coming from the database so you can change this page also from the html page this is the login from where admin will be login and if admin doesn't has if admin doesn't know the user id and password then he will not be able to log in so the user id and password is the admin enter test this is the contact us page from where and he can send the message but it's also a static page they are not saving the data of the contact us page anywhere in the database right also there is no email and the sms is going to be sent from this page right so let's start so if i enter the incorrect user id and password then it's say invalid user id and password so now i am entering correct user id and password once you click on the uh, login then you will be able to get the medis uh, admin dashboard so this is the admin dashboard this is the admin uh, dashboard and if you want to uh, add the medicine then you can add the medicine add the sales add the medicine report sales report change password and logout so these operations that we can perform right the same menu is available here also i want to show you the above menu is totally dynamic and if you click on the logout then above menu will be uh, will be added means uh, just click on the logout then you can show the above menu has gone because there is no uh, user login inside the system okay so if i click on the login then you can see the go menu is coming right so this is the administrator and add medicine so from here admin can uh, add more and more medicines so there are some set of medicine which i have added but you can add any number of medicine right this is the report so this is the medicine report from where you can see this is the uh these number of medicines i have added and if you want to add then you can add and delete medicine from here right also you can search medicine from here just like if i uh, suppose i for mb so you can see the mb uh, pure large equipment so it's coming here means the search function is also integrated in the database <coughs> in, in this project right so now I, am, now I am going to add some of the sales. So this is the add sales. And in add sale, then yeah, the first page will come for asking the customer details, the customer name, I'm entering the social and the mobile number, like that, anything. And once you click on the continue billing, then it will say, okay, bill number is 415 and the date is this one, a customer. So you can see this is the non editable field and uh, now what uh, the billing will start from here so this is the mb pure and click on the add so once you click on the add then you can see the medicine had been added the item code is this one and this is a vaccine small so add now i am to so you can see the medicine is going to be added inside this right so we said some 500 so this one right if i don't want if i want this 10 items then you can see the first is 15 i want to three items 
and I don't want this, then just remove it. Then you can see that uh, all the things are dynamically managed and this is the totally point of sale type of system means you are just selecting the medicines and those medicines are getting added inside the uh, billing right once you click on the save on the print and the this is the bill and once you click on the print then that is will be open uh, with print option and you can print that right so this is all about the project right so second one is the sales report so all the sales which you have made made will be displayed here right so once you click on the view details then you can see the all of the past uh, sales history right so this is a sales report this is a change password from where admin will be able to change his password and this is the logout functionality right so these all things which i have added in this project developed in this project and uh, this is type of a point of sale type of system for the medical store where admin will be able to add medicines and after that he will be able to uh, create the bill for the customer so uh, what he uh, when he starts a billing then the system will ask for the customer name and the mobile number once he click on the continue then the bill form will be means billing form will come and admin will choose the uh, product from the drop down and after that he will be able to uh, uh, add the quantity or delete the product items from the list and after that those sales item will be saved into database for the future history and the future for the future record so this is the total functionality which i have developed in this project so if you need this need more functionality in this project just put it in the comment i will incorporate those changes in this project and i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest knowledge thanks for watching the video thank you very much